Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. So I'm currently in the process of kind of like redoing and upgrading my office space. And there is a whole bunch of stuff that I need to buy and it's going to be quite costly. So I thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun if I went on Wish and checked to see if there was like anything on my wish list or stuff I need to get, if there's cheaper versions of that and I can just buy it on Wish and like show you guys what I got and see. Uh, what the quality is like, how it compares, if anything on here is worth getting. And I've never shopped on Wish before. I've definitely heard some hit and miss stuff. I have friends who have shopped on Wish. Um, so who knows, maybe we might find some hidden gems, some ways to save me some money, but I feel like more likely I'm just going to waste my money uh, and I could have just used that money to buy the you know, good quality stuff in the first place. But even if it's a total fail, at least I hopefully get a fun video out of it and I can entertain you guys. Um, so let's start. One of the things that I want to get is some more uh, RGB LED lights for like my background around my computer. So we'll go ahead and we'll just type up like, um, I don't know, LED gaming lights and see what comes up. All right, so I've got this here and it's a little pricey. So um, it's RBG like hexagonal wall lights, but I have been curious about these. I've seen them on a lot of other people's like kind of battle stations. I've been really into like watching YouTube videos about other people's setups for like some inspiration. And I really like the look of it, but on Amazon lights like this go for like easily over $200. So 4027 um, is not too bad in comparison. I am also making sure to click on things that like, you know, more than one person has purchased, preferably with reviews. So it does have four stars on it. Uh, if anybody has any pictures, eh, I mean, I like based on that picture, the colors don't look the greatest, but then again, it is, it's only $40. So this is a potential. Maybe I'll even look up like hexagonal lights because that is kind of the style I really like and see what other options we might have. All right, now this here, this is definitely quite a bit cheaper. So it's $27.45 for a set of three. No reviews, which is a little concerning, um, but I feel like, yeah, I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to get these ones because they're definitely cheap. And that way, if they end up being a total dud, I don't feel as bad about wasting my money. So we'll go ahead and add those to the list here. All right, so we got the lights. Uh, next thing I want to get is a large keyboard uh, mouse pad. So we'll look up large gaming mouse pad. Now I'm preferably going for something either pastel, pink, purple, because that kind of goes with my like color scheme or going with something more neutral. Okay, this one's really stinking cute though. Okay, so it's like a pastel goth desk matte kawaii. Um, 10 reviews, four and a half stars. Oh, wow. Okay, based on this picture or the video, it looks pretty good actually. Okay, and I mean, it's $3. $3, you can't really beat the price with $5 shipping. So, all right, we'll go ahead, add that to cart. Uh, now I kind of want to maybe just like do something a little bit more general and maybe just type like cute gaming accessories or like kawaii uh, things. So maybe I'll just type that and see if anything that appeals to me might pop up. Okay, this is cute because um, a lot of people I work with are cat people and these are all cat pins. I love this. Okay, I think, I mean for... Two dollars. I was like, yeah, we'll go ahead. <laughs> and it looks like so you might get like a random set of pins, which I'm okay with. So we'll go ahead. We'll add that little pin set there. Okay, this is another thing too that I've seen um, that I think is pretty cool. So it's like a night light kind of um, message board so you can just write different things on it. So that's pretty cool and not too expensive. So let's maybe say, all right, so this one's a little bit more. So we're gonna go with this one here, $5, not bad. Man, I can see how Wish can be dangerous. You just keep seeing things recommended to you and 
they're so cheap. And then you, before you know it, you've spent $200. All right, now I'm going completely down the rabbit hole. Now I'm just looking up like kawaii clothing because I'm such a sucker for just buying like graphic tees and I have so many. The last thing I need is to get more, but. <laughs> okay, so I found this shirt, which is kind of cute for $5. And from what I'm seeing of the reviews, apparently it runs large, so. We're gonna go with a size four, I guess, and hope for the best, because I definitely run small on shirts, but I don't mind a little bit of an oversized shirt. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that one. I also found this too, uh, because I have my little, I've got my tumbler here, which I usually keep at my desk, but I also like to drink tea a lot as well. Uh, and then there's just this cute little uh, Sakura, you know, insulated table mat. So that's good, rather than having to put my hot tea cup right on my desk. And for $2, I mean. All right, so now I've decided to just go even more specific. So I'm looking up just random things from like games or anime um, that I like. So of course, like Danganronpa, right? That's a classic. And I've been meaning to get a Monokuma plushie. I go to conventions all the time, I see them. I'm like, I'll come back and pick it up, and I never do. So I'm like, all right, now's the time. So I'm definitely going to get... Oh, boy. Um, hopefully I get the Monokuma. I don't want Monami. Um, yes, yeah, so I for $6, I'm going to go with the little Monokuma. So that'll be great once I have my shelving unit, which I plan on having in the back sometime soon. And then I can prop that up in the background. So there we go. We'll add a little Monokuma. Okay. <laughs> These look like the cheapest headphones. I, I've been interested in the kitty cat headphones, not gonna lie. But these look, it does say children, but also gamer girl. But it also has pretty good reviews, not a lot of reviews. And they're $6. I mean, I don't know what to expect for $6, but I probably won't use these, but I'm gonna go ahead and add those to the cart. Just, I'm very curious to see. All right, so uh, I think I finished um, my shopping here. As uh, as you can see, it it adds up. Um, so the item total is fifty six seventy five. Shipping's fifty one seventy three, which is wild. Like you you add all these things to cart, and they seem cheap, and then. <laughs> Uh, it, it really does add up with the shipping, um, the fact that each product has its own shipping cost. But you know what, as a Canadian, I'm used to the shipping cost being almost as much as the products themselves. So let me just go through what I am purchasing. So we've got these little uh, kitty wireless headphones. Uh, I've got my Monokuma plush. We've got a um, cherry blossom coffee cup coaster, the little milk shirt, uh, the... LED whiteboard, uh, the kitten cat uh, enamel pin collection, the pastel goth keyboard, and the hexagon light set. And the thing is, I'm going into this, I want these things to be good, especially because like I'm going to be spending over $100 on all this. If the only thing that I don't have a lot of faith in is these headphones. They look cheap. I'm kind of just buying these for a laugh. Uh, but the rest of them, like, I genuinely do want to use these things, and I hope they are good. So anyway, I'm going to go through with this. I'm going to go ahead and buy these, and I mean, hopefully I'll get these soon, but I haven't heard great things about Wish in terms of how long it takes, so I might be getting back to you guys in, like, three to six months with these products. And I kind of hope that's the case, because it would be kind of fun, because I would, like, forget about the stuff I bought. It would be, like, a little present to myself. All right, so I've got my packages here. Actually, the shipping time wasn't so bad. Um, got it within a couple of weeks. I joked about three to six months, but I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, they actually came in when they said they were going to. Uh, there is one item on my list. It still says that the estimated shipping time or uh, time of arrival was supposed to be yesterday. Um, but it also says that it was delivered. So I'm a little confused about that. So maybe it's in one of these packages. We'll have to wait and see. All right, what's this first thing here? Oh my gosh. Oh, the packaging. Oh, this looks like this is the Monokuma uh, 
plushy. So let's check this out. All right. So there he is. We'll just take him out of the packaging here. Okay. It's not bad. He's about what I would, uh, the kind of quality that I would see at a convention and definitely a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, what did I pay for this? Like six or seven dollars and then uh with shipping i think it was probably about like 12 or 13 which when you include the shipping it's not that much cheaper than what i would get at a convention i could see this thing going for about 15 to 20 dollars at a convention but it is i mean quality is not bad at all it's pretty soft and squishy uh so he's gonna sit pretty well actually in my background all right, so as you guys can see, I've just got him back there. He's just gonna sit there for now until I find a better place for him, but overall, not too bad. Uh, the quality is pretty good. I, if I had to rank it out of 10, I'll give that a solid seven out of 10. So first thing, not bad. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's check the next thing here. Oh, ho, ho. okay, this is the thing that I was not I'm not putting a lot of faith into this one. This is the kitty headphones. Look at how tiny those ears are on it. And the box looks pretty small. It does say, as you can see here, it does apparently have RBG lights. Um, wireless. Uh, the box is a little, a little smushed at the bottom. So hopefully it uh, has not damaged the actual item inside. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. I was kind of hoping to save this for last, to be honest, because this is the thing that I probably have the least... These and the lights, uh, the wall lights, are probably the things that I have the least hope for. Okay, let's see. These look tiny. Oh, these look very small. Oh, man. Okay, so... Well, actually... Okay, so they kind of... They fold... So that's actually not bad, because you can just fold them up and just, I guess, like store them away but i feel like when it clicks that the quality seems very cheap it seems like it's just gonna snap like i feel like if i folded them in enough times they would just they would just break uh okay so we've got on the side here so i guess you can change like the volume and everything we've got got the wires uh okay so i guess maybe i'd have to charge these first let's just put them on my head first Oh, no, these are... Uh, can you adjust these? Hold on. So you can make them... It's funny, I said that they were small, actually, but... <laughs> Even at its smallest, I was like, it doesn't sit comfortably on the ears. Let me just do this again. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh, these are awful. Look at this, you can... They just kind of... They don't sit, no, they like, like I like to think I have a pretty small head. These are definitely like they said that they were, these were for children and they just pinch my ears. Um, and like, you can see how tiny the ears are on us. So, oh yeah, these are already, I'm not too impressed, but we should try them out, I guess. Let's see, how do I turn on the RBG? I think I'm, I might have to like charge it first. So let me do that. All right, so I found this hiding at the very bottom of the box, just flimsy one page on how to use it. And I was reading through and the English is pretty great. Uh, so long press three seconds is power on dot off. In wireless mode, when get the calling, short press is answer the calls. Long press is refuse to listen. Continuous push two times is redial. Okay, so, well, this will be fun to try and figure out. So we're going to let the headphones charge a little bit more before, like, we really give this a good go. But, uh, yeah, not looking promising so far. All right, so hopefully it should be charged enough so we can give this a go. So we've just got, I said, we've got the thing here. So I believe this is the, all right, it says to hold it for a couple of seconds. Oh, it actually, surprisingly... Can't really see it quite well. Oh, geez, it's really flashing. It's kind of uh, washed out by the webcam, but it does actually light up. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. No matter how good, it's still, 
the quality and the fit on this is horrendous. It's, <laughs> it does not look good. Um, but I guess the important thing is we can, let's see if we can get the wireless. It's supposed to be wireless. So let's see if we can get this to work. All right, so I currently have it flashing blue. Um, so it should be on wireless mode, but unfortunately uh, I can't seem to connect it to my computer. So don't know if it's just like I'm not doing this right or if it just doesn't work, but we've got the auxiliary cord, so I can at least give it a try. So let's do that. All right, so I currently have it plugged in uh, through the auxiliary. Uh, surprisingly, the sound does work through it. Um, wireless, I couldn't get to work. The auxiliary does work. The sound's not great. I mean, it's a $10 pair of headphones. It sounds a little bit choppy. Uh, I don't, I'm not very good at explaining things, but it just doesn't sound clear. It sounds a little muffled. So unless you are really in need... Oh, another thing too is as soon as I plugged in the auxiliary, uh, the lights don't work on here anymore. Let me just unplug it. Let's just see if we can, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So it's saying, it on, it's, it's saying it's on Bluetooth mode, but yet when I try to connect it to the computer, it doesn't work. But then as soon as I plug it in to the auxiliary, yeah, as soon as you plug it in, the lights don't work anymore. So it seems like you can't, it's one or the other. It's only seems to be on wireless mode that the, the, the light up, uh, the light up ears. So I don't know, man, this is not good quality. It's about what I expect. It's just very uncomfortable. Like I've only been wearing this thing for a couple of minutes and it's already starting to kind of hurt. Like the band up here is too tight and yet somehow on my ears, it's, it's too tight. And yet it feels like it slips at the same time. Um, you can see like, that's not, that's not sitting properly on them. So, Okay, I gotta take these off, I gotta take these off. Oh my goodness. All right, so these are, and I shouldn't completely write off the fact that I couldn't get the Bluetooth to work, maybe it's just me, but just for the flimsiness, the flimsiness and the, um, like how uncomfortable it is, that alone, I like, I wouldn't recommend these, of course not. <laughs> If you are really in need of some headphones, you can do better than these, you know, spend the extra money, spend even, I'm sure, $30, and you can get something way, way better. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to just give these away, I'll donate them, I don't even feel right to try and sell these, so. Okay, I'm just gonna put these away, I did not like those, so that is a big old nope. Oh, if I have to rate it, I'll say like, two. It's a two out of ten. All right, so I decided after I recorded my video that I was going to try one more thing with these headphones because I said I couldn't get the Bluetooth to work on my computer. Tried the office computer, tried my living room computer, no go. So I did manage to get it working on my phone actually. So I do have, I connect to my Bluetooth here. All right, so there it is. Those are the headphones. So we connect. All right, so we got music playing right now and you can hear it is actually playing out of the headphones. So they do work on the phone. So well, I will amend my review. I'll give it a four out of 10 because the quality's still crap. The fit's bad. It's uncomfortable. I don't like the lights. Um, I can't control, can't seem to control how the lights work they just kind of seem to do their own thing uh, but they do work so at least with some devices so it's they're not as terrible but still definitely don't recommend them spend the extra money get yourself better quality headphones all right uh next up is this it just says brooch brooch i don't even know what this is i was like is this is this the buttons i got or the the pins did they package each one individually what is this oh my gosh don't tell me they did oh because it's supposed to be a pack of six i think so these are the little cat pins i got i'm pretty sure if i remembering correctly it was a pack of six but like this is just one so i'm hoping that i don't have 
like a whole bunch of separate things. So it's like, what a waste. What a waste of packaging that is. So there's... Oh boy, the, sorry, the quality is not... Oh, there we go. So it's cute. It's cute. Uh, but I'll have to look in the packaging and see if all the other ones are there. It's very light. Um, does feel cheap, but but what, what to expect. So let's just take a look here. See if I can find all the other ones. All right, well, I've got egg on my face because I was mistaken. Uh, it is only from like, from a set of, I believe like six different kind or whatever. You only get one. That's on me, that's my bad. I misread it. I thought that you got like a pack of, of pins, not just like one random one from the set. So uh, with that in mind, it's not bad. Um, so with uh, with shipping, it came to about $4 for a pin. It's not as good of a deal as I thought in that regard, but even for Wish, that seemed a little bit too good to be true to get a set of pins for such a small amount. So uh, I'll say for the pin, I'll give it like a five. If I were to get them all in one package, I didn't have to pay separate shipping for all of them. I would say for like, you know, I believe they come to about $1.50 for each pin. That's not bad at all. Like, so if I got the $3 shipping, but I could order all the pins and get them delivered together, I would buy more of these because it's cute. It's cute. It's not bad. Um, but yeah, if I had to pay separate $3 shipping for each pin, not worth it in my mind. So, eh. Okay, so this says it is an insulation pad. Uh, I think this is going to be the, the coaster for the uh, the tea or your drinks or whatever drink coaster the uh, the yes it is so it's the cherry blossom oh wow it's actually wow that's bigger than I was expecting it to be to be honest I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller uh, let's take a look here okay so it's got like a for some reason and I have to look at the packaging again I thought the picture made it seem like it was going to be more of like a like a plastic. Uh, this is more of like a rubber, which I guess isn't, is about, oh my gosh, it smells. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, that smells so cheap. I mean, it is cheap. That smells awful. Um, so far, the things that have come out of the packages actually haven't smelled bad. That's something that people have said that like, it's got that cheap smell to it. Ooh, that stinks. That's something I'm going to have to air out for a little bit, but the actual product itself, so it's got like little sparkles, as you can see. It definitely gives me like something that you would buy at Claire's for like an eight-year-old girl to put like in her room. Um, but I'm just gonna put it down. I'll show a video of it on my desk. This was literally just like, cause I like to drink tea a lot uh, when I am at my desk. So this is nice. It's, it's a pretty decent thickness too. Let me just see, you can see there. So it's not super, fl like it's flimsy, but it's not super thin. It just smells rancid and cheap, like cheap rubber. Um, but yeah, I thought it was gonna be more of like a hard plastic. I can't say I'm like super disappointed that it's not. Uh, so it's okay, it's okay. I think I paid like $4 for it. So I'll give this like a six out of 10. Uh, it's, I will definitely make use of this. So it's not bad. All right, so this was the thing I wasn't sure if I'd actually got in my package because it said that it was out for delivery or it hadn't been delivered yet, but then when you go into the details, it says it's already been delivered. So this is the LED message board thing. So you like, it's uh, it's like something that sits on your desk and you can write on it. It's like an LED, it says it's a nightlight. Um, so this one, we, we'll see about this. This could go either way. This could be surprisingly good or it could be garbage. We, I realize some of these things might need batteries, so hopefully I've got the right batteries for them. Okay. This also will need a little bit of setup as well. A lot of, uh, a lot of bubble wrap. It's actually pretty well packaged, surprisingly. Okay, so it feels pretty flimsy as well. And it does feel very light. So let's show you the components here. Wait, so this is, okay, maybe you just have to peel the, okay. And this is the problem with a lot of these things is they don't come with instructions. It literally just came in like that. And then I'm assuming this is the pen. That's it. 
Um, there's there was no box or anything, so you just kind of have to figure it out for yourself. So we'll see if I can get this to work. All right, so this is the actual uh, display. It's all lit up now. Um, I noticed it looks really dirty and scratched up, and I haven't even oh, and it just fell out. <laughs> I haven't even done anything to it yet. So it's very flimsy, like it's very, very flimsy. And then we've got this pen here. Um, we got this end, I'm assuming that's like the eraser. Okay, so I'm an idiot. Um, it turns out that you had to like pull the bottom and there we go. So that's the actual pen. So now we can give it a proper go. So let's write. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is so hard to do with one hand. Okay, that's that's actually kind of cute. Okay, and then I assume you just use that to, to erase with that. How do you erase it? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so there it is. It's very hard to do with one hand. You really have to press down. You really have to put some pressure on it. So yeah, that is the eraser. Okay, it's pretty cute actually. So it does work, surprisingly. I'll have to give this a good cleaning because it, it's very scuffed up, but uh, the other thing is too, is just like because it's a USB charger, uh, it's just gonna be kind of awkward. I guess I could just put it over here, I suppose. So that works. So, okay, um, it actually, the thing works. It. It's kind of cute, doesn't look as nice as the picture, but I will still give this a rating of, I will give it a um, 6 out of 10. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It's very flimsy. Uh, quality is obviously not great. It didn't come in the best condition, but it is usable. And I might actually use this thing because it is pretty cute. All right, now this is one of the things I was most excited about, and I have high hopes for this based on the reviews and the pictures. It is my oversized, uh, like, mouse pad. So let's take a look at this. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait. This is over... That's, that's not oversized. That's... Oh no, did I pick the wrong size on this? Oh man, and it's so cheap looking. I don't know if you guys can see. Like, I don't know why, it just looks so much more vibrant in the pictures. I'm gonna have to... This is another case where like, I may have effed up and I may have just chosen the wrong size. But like, I was expecting this to be like double the size based on the picture. That is... an. Also, holding in front of my face, that also smells really gross and cheap. Oh man, that really stinks. It looks like, I don't know if you guys can see, it looks stretched. It's, I think you know, you'd notice it better in, in person. It's definitely not as vibrant and the picture almost looks like you took something in like a photo editing uh, software and you just stretch the image. All right guys, so here, I think you can get a better idea. So this is about the size of the mouse pad I was hoping to get. And this is what I got, but you know what? This is on me once again, similar to the pins. Unfortunately, it comes in different sizes. I just saw the extra, extra large mouse pad. Uh, I saw the picture of it and I bought it, but it turns out I got the smallest size. But in what world is this an extra, extra large mouse pad? <laughs> so it turns out that the, the biggest size is about $20. So that makes more sense. Uh, but I don't know if you can see what I mean, I feel like you see it better in person, about like the, the look of it, it looks a little bit stretched. It's still cute, it's still cute. If it had been the size I was looking for, I probably would have been quite happy with it, even if the quality is not the best. But unfortunately, I just straight up can't use this. This is way too small, but this is something where I could probably at least donate this or try and sell it for a couple of bucks. But this is another matter of like, I should have, paid better attention before I bought it. I saw the price, I saw the look of it, I saw the picture, and I was not thinking. So that's on me, but either way, um, even still, the, the quality is not super great. Uh, if this was the correct size, I would probably rate this about a 6 out of 10. As this is now, I'm gonna say 
through, um, you know, user error. Um, I, I can't really give this a bad score, but unfortunately I will not be able to make use of this. All right, well, that was, that was a bummer. That was one I was really looking forward to. So we only have, looks like two things left. I'm really hoping we're going to get at least one winner here, but considering one of the things that we're, we're going to open up is going to be those really cheap wall lights, I don't have a lot of faith. So I think we'll end on the lights. So we'll get something here that I'm really hoping is not going to disappoint me, which was that shirt that I ordered. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This looks like a completely different... Hold on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> okay, so it is technically the right shirt, but it looked so completely different that I almost didn't believe it was... Okay, first of all, this this is super stretchy, and I got this in the smallest size. I was sure I did. This could be another error, but I'm pretty sure in that picture um, it looked like pink. Uh, but this looks like, this is like kind of brown. Um, it's like a faded brown and I was like expecting maybe more of like a cotton. This is like a stretchy, I don't even know what material this is, like a polyester or something. And it's really, really wrinkled. Um, so there's like, it's a, it's cute. It's just not the, either the, it's not the size, it's not the color, and it's not the fabric that I was expecting at all. But I will, um, you know, I'm going to try this on so you guys can see it, but this thing is, I'm going to be, f like, I'm going to be swimming in this shirt, especially because it's so stretchy. Okay, I will be right back. All right, so here's the shirt. Super flattering, right? So this is supposed, I ordered, I did check, I ordered this in a size 4, which is the smallest size. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Now, to be fair, it did say that the color was apricot, um, which I guess I would say this is kind of an, but the thing is the picture, the, it looked like the girl, it was, it was like more of a pink. And the material, like it's stretchy and cheap feeling, but it's kind of comfortable. Uh, it is so dang, like, oh my gosh, it definitely needs to be ironed out. It is so wrinkled, so wrinkled. Now the problem is this color is not flattering on me, this fit, is not flattering on me and I don't even think it's worth it to try and like alter it and make it smaller so unfortunately this shirt is yet another fail. Now the, like they said the color there was a picture a girl was wearing where it did kind of have more of a brown look similar to this it does say apricots but I ordered it at a size four I don't know in what universe I know that women's sizing can be all over the place but in what world is this a four like I know I'm kind of on the smaller side, but geez, Louise. I mean, I guess I'll just have to, this could be like a lounge shirt or a PJ shirt because there's no way I'm going to be wearing this out. This looks awful on me. So I'm going to rate this a three. Really bummed out, man. We have not had a lot of winners here. And the last thing we have, I don't have a lot of faith in it. So let's just get right into it, I guess. All right, so this was the most expensive thing on the list. These are the those hexagon wall lights. And as you can see, I have some good wall lights in the back. The funny thing is that I ordered these a couple of weeks ago, all this stuff to be like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I need to decorate the office. I'm redoing stuff. And then I was impatient and I ended up buying a lot of stuff in between, like good quality things instead. So I don't really have much use for this stuff. So this is kind of more like me just roasting wish, I guess. Okay, so there's there's the box, smart light panels. Uh, the box is tiny. Um, okay, so it looks like we've got wires. I wasn't sure, I was like, is it gonna be battery operated? So, oh, there's quite a few parts to this. So let me just, oh boy. Oh my gosh, that's it? That's, oh wow, there's, this was $20, huh? You literally get, it's th three. You get three lights, oh my gosh. It's just like, if you want to do anything substantial, these cost me, and that was, I think, $20 before tax. So for the amount of money, you might as well just go with the good quality stuff and just get those instead. So we've got... And they're tiny, too. Look at how little they are. And then we've got the controller here. 
All right, so here we are doing a test of them. It's washed out a little bit on camera, but it actually is quite bright. And this is it at a low brightness here. We've got the controller. So with the controller, you can see just how bright it can get. So you can, there you go, and it can change color. So it's actually, yeah, oh, there you go. So it's actually working, they work pretty well. I'm surprised at how much they pop. And then you've got the standard, as I said, you've got the controller here, so you can just do different colors, you can do the brightness, and we'll show clicking it into place so you can do different designs as well. And just like that, it lights up. So it, it's a little bit flimsy. Uh, so they're very light, they're a little flimsy. They might kind of pop out occasionally if you're too rough with them. Uh, but I gotta say for $20, pleasantly surprised. So uh, I would say like, if you want something that's not as expensive, if you want some hexagon lights, I mean, you can do worse than these. Now, long term, I don't know how how well these are going to like last, because we're just trying them out now. Um, and it doesn't come with, like, usually these lights, they have, like, stick-on things, like the tapes. So you'd have to buy, like, the Velcro tape separately. But those that doesn't cost a lot. So, all right, color me impressed uh, with this. And one thing, too, so you've got this, so you can see it's kind of flashing. So you have like power, so this is power, this is, you can do kind of different types of, you know, blinking, you got that. And another cool thing is it actually has a music one, so it will go along with any music that's playing, so we'll give that a try too. Alright, so you can see here, this is the microphone, so if you put something next to it, it actually works pretty well. All right, uh, so that will do it for this. Uh, that is everything that I picked up. Overall, would I say that it was worth the over $100 that I spent? Absolutely not. We did find some things that aren't completely terrible. Uh, not too many, unfortunately. I would say my little Monokuma. I'm glad I picked him up. He was probably, like, in terms of quality, probably the best thing that I got. And I'm definitely going to keep him around. Uh, this... Little thing here, not bad. It was like $3, so I can't be too mad about that, and I actually will use that. This little thing here, um, I'll keep it around. I did notice as I erased my little thing there, it left little scratch marks. So I don't know how much I will actually use this thing. I'll keep it around. We'll, we'll see. This will probably just end up on my desk collecting dust, but it's not terrible. It does work. My little cat pin disappointment, but that was me. That was my fault. I didn't read the description properly. Um, so I think Wish at least is a place if you want to pick up some cute pins. It's not a bad place to get stuff. The hexagon lights, surprisingly, they worked decently well. Um, if you can handle the cheapness of it and you're careful with it, uh, you could actually make these work. Will I use these? Probably not, to be honest, because you just get so little in the packaging that I'm like, I just, it's not worth it for me to, to keep. This shirt was, I will keep this, but um, I will probably, like I said, I'll probably just use this as like a sleep shirt um, or I'll just donate it. I was a little disappointed by that one. It's a shame. It could have been a really cute shirt, but it's just way too big, not big on the color and the fabric and the quality is just not great. The mouse pad, probably the biggest disappointment because I was actually hoping I would be able to use this. But once again, partially my fault for not, you know, checking the dimensions better on it. But the quality on it is not great anyway. Even if it had been the right size, I don't know if I would have kept it. And then the kitty ears were just as garbage as I was expecting. This was just buying this for fun, and I would feel bad even trying to sell this to someone, so I'm probably just going to donate this or throw these away, to be honest. All right, so uh, I guess the big question is, would I order from Wish again? I, I don't know. If I did, I would definitely be more careful to actually see what I am buying 
take a better look at the dimensions of things. Just be really careful that I'm actually ordering the thing that I think I'm ordering. But the problem with Wish is even when you're really careful, sometimes you just don't know. But that's kind of the fun of it, right? Um, so let me know what you guys saw of this video. I know it's something a little bit different than I usually do. I wouldn't be, you know, adverse to doing another uh, Wish purchasing video or maybe I'll just like do more shopping stuff if I buy some nerd stuff. Maybe I'll review it on the channel. Who knows? But I hope you guys did like it. Hopefully, uh, you know, even if I wasted my money on a lot of stuff, at least there was an entertaining video to come out of it, I hope. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought down below. What, uh, what was the best looking thing that I bought in your opinion and the worst looking thing? Uh, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, bye. Special shout outs to my top tier patrons. Kaori Makoto, SM, Revealing Storm, Tequila Mockingbird, Asborn Kennedy, Harry Gaziff, Icognito, Jared Fan, Joel Ustman, and Zoran Ether.